Whoa. What are you guys doing down there? Well, BPA, AP, and IB. All this and more on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Wednesday, November 27th, your Novi boys varsity hockey team took on Northville. Unfortunately, they lost 4-3 in a close game. Yesterday, your Novi boys varsity basketball team took on Wall Lake Central at home. They ended up winning 48-32. And yesterday, your Novi varsity girls basketball team came up short against Lakeland. Tonight, Novi varsity wrestling takes on multiple schools in a quad match at home and Novi Varsity Hockey has a match at home versus Lavoni Stevenson. Have a great rest of your day, Wildcats. Welcome to the announcement segment. The Drama Club is meeting today, December 4th after school in the Black Box Theater. The Awkward Pause Freshman Public Show is today, December 4th at 7 p.m. in the Black Box Theater. Admission is $5 at the door. Join us. The Knocklow Interest Group is meeting Thursday, December 5th in room 101 after school. Learn Pig Latin and get some snacks. The Novi Music Production Group meets Friday, December 6th in Mr. Baldwin's room, 245. They'll be learning about famous composers and producers. The Winter Orchestra concert is next Tuesday, December 10th. It's at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Wildcat Concert Symphony and Philharmonic will be performing. For freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, Business Professionals of America members will receive eight inside tips on what students should be doing prior to applying to Ross. That's next Tuesday, December 10th in room 218. Curious about AP or IB courses and programs? Scan the QR code to learn more next Thursday, December 12th at 8 a.m. Scan this other QR code to learn even more next to next Thursday, December 19th at 8 a.m. Go ahead, scan them. Not too long ago, your Novi Girls Swim and Dive teams finally ended. The longest fall sport is officially over, paving way for the winter sports. Let's hear from Juliana Hanna with her opinions on the season. I think the season went really well. I'm really happy with how we ended and moved up two spots from where we were originally seated at conferences. I think it was a great last season. I'm really happy with how I ended personally with two PRs and they were fully unexpected, but like, I think I had a lot of fun this season, but I'm definitely done. Like, I, like I'm de yeah, I'm definitely happy to be done. I am excited to manage the boys season solely because I have like a great view, like it's fun to watch like be right near like the finishes and also because they give me pizza. What is up Novi? This is Detroit Sports Update. The Lions had another great game, but a very close game at times. They won 23 to 20 against the Bears with Matt Eberflus being the MVP of that game. If you know, you know. Well, the Pistons did not have a great two weeks. Uh, they lost five of their seven games. Lock in. MSU football lost against Rutger, 41 to 14. What are you guys doing? Ohio State lost against U of M, 13 to 10. My only question is, how do you lose to U of M? You know, you're ranked second, Ohio. What is wrong with you? Lock in. What's up, Wildcats? Missing State basketball won four of their last six games with their most notable win being over the number 12th ranked North Carolina, 94-91. And Michigan Wolverines basketball won all five of their last games with their most notable win being over number 22 Xavier winning 78-53. Hello, I'm Neil A.M. and this is NFL Predictions vs. Reality. The Chargers won 17-13 against the Falcons. That's points to Jimmy and Ryusei. The Steelers won 44-38 against the Bengals. That's points to Jimmy and Matthew. The Vikings won 23-22 against the Cardinals. That's points to everyone. The Eagles won 24-19 against the Ravens. That's another point to everyone. 
The Bills won 35 to 10 against the 49ers. That's another point to everyone. The Broncos won 41 to 32 against the Browns, and that's yet another point to everyone. In the end, we have Ryuse and Matthew tied on five, but Jimmy wins with all correct predictions and six points. I'll see you next week. Good day. Hello, this is Melissa, and I'm with Mr. Dyra. And what's your role at NHS? I teach all of the band classes, jazz band, marching band, um, yep, everything band. And what's your unpopular opinion? My unpopular opinion is a reply to uh, an unpopular opinion of Ms. Shaughnessy's, uh, which uh, is YouTube Music is actually better than Spotify and Apple Music. Thank you. Hi, this is Melissa, and today I'm with Ms. Sardis. What's your role at NHS? I am the dance teacher here. And what's your unpopular opinion? That chocolate is not good. I disagree. Hello, this is Melissa, and today I'm with Mr. Van Isinga. And what's your role at NHS? I teach orchestra, instrumentals, and theater arts. And what's your unpopular opinion? I have two. The first is that Reputation is Taylor Swift's worst album, and that the definitive chocolate rankings are white chocolate, milk chocolate, then dark chocolate. Nova is worth more than $4.1 billion and is much higher than the state equalized value of 60 of the 83 counties in the state of Michigan. Have a great day, Wildcats. What's up, Wildcats? Do you want your story featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. And remember, all requests should be in by 9 a.m. on Monday to give our journalists the time that they need to deliver you a quality product. I thought I saw you there. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Stay tuned for the next episode.